Board is being held in person at 1700 North Congress Avenue, Stephen F. Austin Building. Access to the meeting by members of the public was published in advance in the Texas Register in accordance with the Texas Opens meeting, Open Meetings Act. Any member of the public who wishes to address the school land board may do so during the public comment period. The first item of the agenda is swearing in our new board member, Marcella Burke. So, all right, so if you will raise your right hand and repeat after me. In the name and by the authority of the state of Texas. In the name and by the authority of the state of Texas. I state your name. I, Marcella Burke. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute the duties. That I will faithfully execute the duties. Of the office of the state of Texas. Of the office of the state of Texas. And will do the best of my ability. And will do the best of my ability. To preserve to preserve, protect, protect, and defend, and defend the Constitution, the Constitution, and laws of the United States, and laws of the United States, and of this state, and of this state. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Did you um, wish to say any words? It's great to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say of this great state, but I didn't want to ruin the oath. <laughs> I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. Well, we're very glad to have you. And um, item number two is consideration and possible action on, res on the resolution honoring Michael Scott Rohrman for his service on the school land board. As a member of the Texas School Land Board since 2017, Scott Rohrman has served the board with great distinction and helped advance public education in this great state. During his time serving the board, he has also remained a pillar of the Dallas community. From his work in commercial real estate to his devotion to charitable causes and his role as an elder in his church, Mr. Rohrman has exemplified leadership. As chairwoman of the Texas School Land Board, I would like to thank Mr. Rohrman for his invaluable contributions to the state of Texas and its citizens. And we have prepared a um, resolution honoring him for his service to be issued by the board. He was unable to join us today, but we wanted to uh, just recognize his great service to the school land board, the students of Texas, as well as the state in general. Would any board member like to say anything or add anything? All right. Um, let's see. So is there objection to approving the issuance of this resolution by unanimous consent? All right, hearing no objection, the resolution is approved. Next item on the agenda is item number three, approval of the minutes from the April 4th, 2023 school land board meeting. Would any member wish to discuss this item before voting? All right, um, is there any objection to approving the minutes from the April 4th, 2023 meeting by unanimous consent? All right, Hear hearing no objection, the minutes are approved. Item number four, next item on the agenda, is the public comment period. Members of the public may address the school land board concerning any matter within the authority of the board. As chairwoman, I am limiting the length of time available to each speaker to two minutes. The board secretary shall keep track of time. Do we have anyone in attendance who wishes to address the board on any board matter at this time from the public? All right, seeing none, we'll move on to item number five. Um, approval of the consent agenda as posted. Does any member wish to extract any item from the consent agenda to discuss it individually and vote on it as a separate item? Okay, would any member, board member like to discuss any item on the consent agenda before motion, before voting? No. Okay, uh, is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? I'll move for approval. All right. Marcella, would I'll you second. Like? All righty. Um, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. Motion is made, seconded, and carries by a unanimous vote to approve the consent agenda as posted. Next item on the agenda is item number six. Um, items number six and seven will first be discussed in executive session. The school land. Oh, wait, let's see. Uh, the school land board will enter closed session pursuant to chapter 551 subchapter D, Texas government code section 5551.071 for consultation with its attorneys regarding matter involving attorney client privileged information and legal issues associated with items number six and seven. Following the closed session, the board will reconvene in open session to complete the docket. 
2023 school land board meeting will resume with item number six. Um, item number six is the consideration and possible action on the application of Anadarko EMP on shore. Chair recognizes Nick Orman to present item number six to the board. Good morning. Again, for the record, Nick Orman with the Office of General Counsel. Item number six is an application by Anadarko ENP on shore to waive their agency rights under the Relinquishment Act in order to take a lease under section 52.190 of the Natural Resources Code. Uh, due to prohibitions in the Natural Resources Code on self-dealing, there's a statutory process whereby a surface owner may waive their rights and order to take a lease on land in which they own. Anadarko has done that. They've applied to waive their rates to lease depths below 10,420 feet in the northwest quarter and depths below 10,400 feet in the southwest quarter of Section 14, Block 57, Township 3 in Reeves County, Texas. Staff has confirmed the terms are proposed our market and that Anadarko has otherwise complied with the terms of 52.190 of the Natural Resources Code. Staff recommends approval of the item and uh, the related lease. Happy to answer any questions. Board members, any questions? I move for approval. All right, do I hear a second? Second. All right. Um, all, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right, the motion is made, seconded, and carries by unanimous vote to approve item number six. Next item on the agenda is item number seven, discussion and possible action on proposed settlement of litigation. Cause number D-1GN-21-0021970, Travis County. Um, Chair recognizes Nick Orman to present item number seven to the board. Thank you. Again, for the record, Nick Orman with the Office of General Counsel. Item number seven is a proposed settlement of ongoing litigation pending in Travis County with Ballard Exploration Company, Incorporated. The litigation stems from a standard audit of five mineral leases in Jefferson County, Texas. Final audit billing notice was sent in January of 2021, and Ballard filed suit in May of 2021. As a result of a mediation held in February of this year, a mediator's proposal was submitted, which staff feels it is in the best interest of the permit school fund to accept. Accordingly, staff recommends approval of the mediator's proposal as discussed in more detail in executive session. I'm happy to answer any questions. Board members, any questions? Question. All right. Do I hear a motion to approve? I'll move. <laughs> I'll second. All right. Motion is mo uh, moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Motion is made, seconded, and carries by unanimous vote to approve item number seven. That concludes the posted board agenda. Does any board member wish to be recognized to provide any further comments or discussions? All right. There being no further business before the school land board, the May 9th, 2023 meeting is adjourned. Thank you so much.